say? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. So we often see symmetry in our daily lives, but we don't realize it. We can see symmetry in nature, like this butterfly. If I were to draw a line down the middle, would the sides be the same? Yes. Yes. So, do y'all know what this line is called? This imaginary line, Hayden? Eric, the line of symmetry. The line of symmetry, that's right. The line of symmetry is an imaginary line where if you put it right down the middle, both sides would be exactly the same. Another place you see symmetry is architecture. This is our capital building. So if you ignore the trees and the people, do you see how it's exactly the same? A symmetry in your life. Do you see that? They even put two flags on both sides to make it perfectly symmetrical. Do you know why they might do that? Why would they make things symmetrical, Hayden? So, they, so both sides can match. That's right, because when things are symmetrical, people like that. It's organizing, and it makes things make sense. So let's go back to the butterfly. What's the same on this side as that side? Kate. That they're both um, like even. And they're both even. Same thing. Exactly. This way is the same length as that way. They both have spots on both sides. So there's lots of examples of symmetry in nature and construction and artwork too. So now I'm going to give you each a little packet of shapes. And we'll go through them together. We should have a triangle. So a triangle, a star, an arrow, and a square. So let's look at the arrow first. Does the arrow have symmetry? Yeah. No. Yeah? No. 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 Well, let's see, if we hold it this way, does it have symmetry? No. No. What if we fold it this way? Yeah. Yes. It's exactly the same. So, let's draw a line. Go ahead and get out a color pencil. Draw the line of symmetry. So if you need help making a straight line, you can fold it. That way it's easier to draw a line. Yeah? yeah. Alright, good. So an arrow has one line of symmetry. But if we look at our square, a square has more than one line of symmetry. Did y'all know that? Yes. Yes? Because you can fold it this way? No, we haven't talked about that. No? Okay, well, see how this is one line of symmetry here? What's another line of symmetry? What's another way I can fold it? Why don't you fold it for me? Okay, so which way is the square? So if this is our square, another way, another way I could fold it to make it exactly symmetrical. Okay. So he created another line of symmetry. See how that works? I can make it exactly symmetrical on this line, or exactly symmetrical on this line. But a square actually has more than just two lines of symmetry. Can you think of another way to fold it? Okay, good. So Kate found another line of symmetry. So how many lines are we at? Three, three, three. four. That's right, we have three so far. But there's one more line. and draw each line in a different color and then we'll count and see how many we get. Yeah. Yeah. So how many colors do you have? How many four? That's right. My line has four too. So that means there are four lines of symmetry. So now that we're done with that, let's get out our triangle. Who wants to make a guess? How many lines of symmetry this has, right? Three. That says three. So, what's one line? Sorry.
John has it. Good, John. John has it. Awesome. See how this is a line right here? Can we turn it? Can we drop another line right there? Okay. So there's one more line. This side seems to know it. Do you all know where the line would go? John? Turn it again. Turn it again. And draw a line. That's right. So I'll walk around the room and make sure you all can do it. But go ahead and draw your third line. Hayden, babe, we can't hear you. So, we can make one of the symmetry of this uh -huh. right here. Okay, yes. So, Hayden is trying to say that we're going to rotate our star, right? Okay. And we start here, and we rotated our star to a new point. So, rotate your star slowly like she did. So, now the star looks exactly like we just had it, and we can draw a new line, right? Does that make sense? Yes. So, we're going to draw another line. Yeah, you can do that in the shapes you have. 